Hi guys, this is AndroidPipe.com and I'm here with a game called Small and Furious RC Car Race. It's available for free in the Play Store and I'm playing it on the AllView X3 Soul Mini handset. It's sort of a combination between a side-scrolling title and a racer filled with traps and physics puzzles. Okay, so we got an ad here since it's a free game and let's get straight to the gameplay. We got this RC car right here, quite nifty graphics and intuitive control, so we rely on this uh, pedal to move forward and once we're in the air we can uh, distribute the weight of the car by pressing this or that pedal. In front of us are multiple traps, ramps, trampolines and we also have a nitro button that's not very handy when getting decapitated like this. Each level has a time limit which we have to make use of to get to the end in one piece, each time we get busted and smashed, we lose precious seconds. The main character is a crash test dummy who's driving a car and getting into all sorts of accidents and even some areas that feels like we're in a stalemate. The game works just fine on a handset with 1GB of RAM like we have right here and I guess it's the case to use some nitro we're going uphill now, which is kind of hard to do here. One second left and this level is a bust. The game is called Small and Furious, free in the Play Store and a bit frustrating as you can see. It's still fun. We also have the Endless Mode, where a bunch of checkpoints separate us from victory. Well, there is no actual victory, you go from checkpoint to checkpoint. And you can upgrade your engine, spring, wheels and nitro by spending the cash you earn during the various missions. Of course you can exchange vehicle if you have enough currency got the enforcer, the comet, the juggernaut, silver spirit you can also change the driver Lil G, Candy, Buzz, Betty, Andretti and paint your vehicle and finally use decals such as those ones you see here. Anyway let's get to the endless gameplay. So this is a physics based platform puzzlers with acrobatics, 4 environments, HD 3D graphics that look quite hot and the level design is quite good although kind of frustrating sometimes especially when you fall on your head and lose precious seconds doing all those flips will get you extra currency and points and Nitro will help you get uphill or downhill depending on your needs there are 81 tracks in this game there are a ton of obstacles some genetic rock music in the background 18 characters to unlock and quite a few checkpoints 8 cars are available and you have to get more and more coins in order to have improved cars Once you get uh, into a crash, you'll see a slow motion animation of that exact thing happening. You can watch a video to continue or select no thanks or spend cash in case you don't have currency. Even more ads and let's get back here and maybe replay one of the levels we thought was easier. And even more ads, this time a longer one. This is to be expected from a free game but still many many ads. I'm guessing that there's an in-app purchase that gets rid of those. In this mission you have to beat the ghost. Easier said than done. Ok, so Nitro is already helpful. A nice spin and very close to a stalemate. You just saw a big fan that would have lifted us into the air. The card is really creaking and looking like it's going to break and we beat the ghost to the end. It's quite a fun title if you get the hang of how to spin the car in mid-air and not fall flat on your face. And maybe let's try level 9 where we got a single star out of the available 3. And even more ads. So we have uh, 4080 coins, nothing we can spend them on because all the upgrades are more expensive than that. Things to like here, well, the graphics the traps, the fact that the game is free, it's easily played uh, on the go, during a commute, on the bus, 
the sessions are very short as you can see the timer always points at one minute tops so that's how long you're going to spend on a mission one minute and you're done balance is everything so once you balance your vehicle things will get smoother as you go along so far so good we picked up some speed went on a ramp and then fell onto our head 26 seconds left would be nice if you could pick up more seconds I'm not sure if you can do that maybe you can, maybe you can't anyway you get the idea so Small and Furious gets from AndroidPower.com an 8 out of 10 it's entertaining but also frustrating quite a few times the endless mode is actually better in my book so 8 out of 10 from AndroidPower.com Play it on the Allview X3 Soul Mini. Bye bye.